So hello guys welcome back to the channel I hope you all are absolutely fine and sound and in this video I am going to talk about the GSOC Google summer of code what is it who can apply for it and how you can get paid internship yes you get paid internship free of cost so here before we start make sure you subscribe the channel and do hype the video so let's get started so first of all come to the home page over here and let me tell you what is gsoc okay so gsoc stands for google summer of code and it is an international program which was started by google in 2005 here in this program, it allows students and beginners to learn about open source software development by contributing to real world projects provided by various open source organizations. Here what happens, participants are assigned a mentor. Okay, you are assigned a mentor. Even if you are clueless, you don't know anything, the mentor will help you to just complete the task. He will not complete the task, but will guide you. Okay, just like we have the arcade facilitators. Similar here you get uh, assigned to a mentor and receive a stipend of around $200 or even more depending on the company so here we'll talk about it so let's so let's discuss the amazing perks of the GSOC so what are the amazing perks of GSOC that real world organization development experience you work with real and actual developers who are already working on the projects and the projects are already live okay you are working on live projects okay so there is some things you need to keep in remember we have to apply for proposals also okay we'll cover this in the later part of the video do not worry about it now here if you apply for any company for job in future here you need to understand that gsox have mass creativity credibility on your resume if you complete uh, the GSOC also and uh, chances are there sometimes due to better projects the GSOC itself helps to just it acts as a bridge between you and the company which which you are working with okay so let so if the company likes your work then they will join you as an intern and full-time they will give a full-time job also so here, by completing the GSOC completion challenge, your chances of selection in company interviews and here, as it demonstrates the actual development experience, you will be just getting it. Okay, what I mean to say that you'll be getting the job instantly if you just try and build something big. Now, regarding the stipend, for participants in India, the stipend, which ranges, I'm just saying the range only, it may increase or decrease. It's around $1,500 to $3,000. Around, if we convert, it's $80,000 to 3 lakhs or even more okay now the benefits of doing it as i said you are getting amazing world experience and second wait for a second and the second thing is that you are just building networks you are meeting meeting with tech giants you are having mentors who are working on the giant companies even the big four companies too so here you are getting uh, the chance to interact with them and you need to know that many of the GSOC alumni end up in fine companies okay and big startups also so here the first thing is that you need to understand uh, that here are some important timelines for GSOC 2026 okay so let me open a notepad so that it becomes easier to understand so let me just open a notepad okay so here is my notepad and let me open it so here let me just explain each and everything if i explain it to you so the first prerequisite is that you need to know about git and github if you don't know you can just watch any tutorial video and get it ready or you can just go to the documentation so because many of you will be pushing the codes on the github itself so you need to understand that thing so here first of all let's cover the important timelines okay important timelines So if I come over here to important timelines, okay, here in February, the Google will publish the list of selected organization which will be participating on the GSOC 2026. Currently, you can see if you come to the home page, the here it shows of 2025 okay each year there is the event okay like this 2026 will be live whenever the event will be live I'll make a dedicated video to not worry about it so here in February list of companies will be live okay 
list of companies will be live and after that in march in march in march the proposal will start okay the proposal will start like here students have to submit the proposal to the selected organization if you want a dedicated video how to make a proposal and what is this thing basically you have to apply why you are right fit for this particular organization and what will be contributing like this thing will be done i'll make a dedicated video if you want you can comment down below now here after the making the proposal to selected organization here are multiple organization if i show you the organization you can just come over here if we come over here and here you can see uh, okay so here you can see browse all 2025 organization if i come over here you can see for all organization if you want to contribute in ai here you can see the structure filter is there so depending on your interest you can select the filter i am just sharing all so like this you can see these are the organization okay this will be listed over here in 2026 you have to just uh, uh, contact them and write a proposal and I'll make a dedicated video do not worry as it is not live right now the proposal thing I'm just making because many of the participants were asking what is the event about we want to know so here you have to just make a proposal uh, why you are right fit for this particular thing what will be your contribution and you can see one more important thing you can see video clad you must have used the vlc media player and you can just contribute to it it will be a nostalgic feel you are using the software and you are building something new on this particular over here so like this you can just check out their things and here you can see all the things are mentioned over here so here once you have filled the uh, what i call the fob okay the form which was the proposal project proposal project proposal in simple words mean what project you want to work in that company what improvements you can make if you want to see the issues over here like i'm just showing a sample if you come to the view code you have to just visit their organization github also so this is the i think the project they have shared so like this your project will be listed over here if you win okay like this your project will be listed over here so you have to just check the github of that particular for example if i come over here and just for for the let me just search for the vlc github if i come over here and just see vlc vlc if i search it will show so yes you can see here video land vlc so like this you have to come over here and just check for the issues okay just come for here and just come to the repository and here you can see like this this is the public repository and you will find the issues they have not shared the issues i think so so do not worry whenever it will be live i will share it do not worry about it so here what is the roadmap so the complete roadmap is that first you need to learn about git and github okay first you need to learn about git and git first you need to learn about git and github and after that so why you need to learn about git and github because we'll be working on github or gitlab so you need to know about how to fork the repo how to clone the and how you have to commit and push the changes and including the pull request okay second thing you need to understand on which tech stack you want to work for here you can see multiple tech stacks are here like you want to work on ai data development tools and media operating system programming languages science or medicines like you have to just finalize your tech stack okay so after that you have to choose an organization okay so here what you can do as currently the organizations are not listed over here but chances are there these re organization may repeat so you have to just open it over here and here you can see all their details are there you can join their community and just tell that i want to work in upcoming cohort of the gsoc will be will you be contributing and taking part on it so if they say yes if you start working beforehand the registration start then chances are the proposal acceptance is more okay so you need to just understand it still if you are unable to do it wait for the list to get live and after the list is live you have see 
you have one month available between the organization announcement like from February to March okay you can use the website over here like you have to come to the website and just check all the list over here okay and just see uh, if I come over here and if I can see let me show you come to the past programs and here you can see similarly for 2020 you can see and if you see the same projects, uh, same companies are taking part. Okay, so let's see whether you can see Django is taking part over here again. And in the 2024 also, it has part, taken part, I think so. Yes, so the companies which are participating repeatedly in every year, you can contact them. You have to just find the common over there and just contact them and join in and get a chance to get selected easily. Okay, so here. What you can do, you can start contributing to that organization beforehand only. You can just come over here. If I see if they have added the GitHub also here. So if I come over here and let's see what it shows. Okay, so they have the Discord forum over here. So you can just join the Discord section and just contact with them. And also if you want to just code, if I come over here, let's see which repository it opens. So yes, you have to come over here. First of all, you need to have a GitHub account. If you don't know, you can create it. Okay. Now just come over here and here you can see that issues are not mentioned over here. I don't know why. Because in some repository, I used to see the issues. If I come over here and let me see over here uh, is the issue is there. So yes, here is the issues. So by default, uh, in each repository, there will be issues mentioned over here, like this particular thing is not working or this is not working, they'll be mentioning. Or you can just create your issue also, but first contact them. After that, you can just join their Slack and Discord. As I said, you have to do it beforehand and just uh, ask them to just guide them. There will be a health section surely. On each organization, they have a health section. So so you can connect with them. Okay. Now here the best proposal tip is that your proposal plays a very crucial part uh, in just getting selected. Okay. In getting selected, uh, your proposal plays a very important role. So here you have to clearly define the problem statement. What is problem statement? Like what problem you are working on it and what uh, how will it, you will be solving it. Okay. After that, you have to share the approach also like what is the solution approach? First, you have to create a problem and then just share the solution for it. Now here, the timelines and milestone will vary from different to different. It's up to organization. Generally, it's a 12 week program. So you need to just uh, contact them also, like if they are extending it or not. And here, if you start early, the sooner you start, the better is the proposal selection. So as of now, you can join their Discord. If you are just using VLC, you can join the VLC Discord or Slack, whatever the social media handle they are using you can join them and just contact with them so like this you can just take part in the challenge if you have any query regarding this particular challenge you can comment down below i will try my best to help you and sorry for the voice issue because i'm having some uh, fever issues so due to which the voice is a little bit cracking i think so so thank you guys do hype the video and do subscribe to the channel and have a great day ahead